Hello guys, my name is Ghulam Abbas. I am a full stack web developer and instructor at Udemy for last about two years. And I am into programming for last five years, but teaching online um, web development, full stack web development and Java Python for last two and a half years. So this video is all about full stack uh, web development using modern stack uh, with the four latest technologies um, MongoDB for database, uh, Node for the backend, Express which is a Node framework and then the React which is the front-end JavaScript framework. So we are going to use these four technologies to build a complete full stack e-commerce website and after a minute you will see a complete demo of this project that we are going to build in this course. Okay, So you can see that this is project Munstack full e-commerce site using React Redux and Node.js and it has uh, 20 hours of content you can see you can go to this uh, URL I will put this URL in the description of this video you can check that and these are all the sections and all the features that I'm going to add in this project okay and definitely you can read my reviews if you want to and if you really want to become a full stack developer or want to uh, enhance your skills in these four technologies then you can definitely take this course I will put the link of this course in the description of this video and now you can watch the complete uh, demo of this project that we're going to build. Make sure to subscribe this channel and I will see you in the course. So this is the home page of the website. I have displayed only four products here. You can display more products if you want and this is the pagination. So you can see that we are on the first page. If I click on two, this is the loader and now we are on the second page. If I click on three and now I am on my last page which is the third one okay i can go to first one which is this one i can also go to the last one if i want all right so this is the page nature is also implemented here and if this is a search box if i type here anything like if i type here apple all right i will get all the products that has apple in it like this is the fruit this is the macbook and this is the airpods i can also define here the price filter if i click here now it will give all the products that has price between 139 and 1000 like this one all right and if i get back again now if i only want to get products that has category uh, fruit if i click on here uh, this food here it is this one you will see only apple here if i click on electronics you will see airports if i click on laptops you will only see here laptops all right and the same way you have the ratings this is for the search and if I go back, if I open any product from here like this one, you will see here the image, title and now this product is out of stock. So I cannot select here the quantity and also the add to car button is disabled. I can submit a review on this product but if I log out, you can see that I am already logged into my account. If I log out from here, go back, you will see here I have to log in to post my review. All right. Go back go to this one you will see here now this is in stock status is in stock and now I can select the quantity and this is the and this has only one quantity so I cannot select more than one but if I go back and select this one this is also in stock and now I can select the quantity I want okay now I cannot select more than 11 because I have only 11 headphones in this stock so this is also implemented and we cannot select more than this stock okay and then we have to add to cart if i click on add to cart like i select here two click on add to cart so item added to cart and this card has one product if i go to the card you will see here your card now one items i have this headphones price quantity and this is the simple order sum that i have two units so two quantity two units and the total price is five eight ninety eight dollars if i go back and add this airports one added now you have two products in the cart go back now you have three units and 724 is total price and that is the estimated total we also have to add the shipping price and also we have to add the tax price when we will check out all right so this is the cart page and if i reload the page you will see that the items are being here because i am storing all these products in the local storage the cart products all right before moving towards the cart i want to show you login here if i click on login I can log in here if I forgot my password. I can click on here, forgot password, provide in my email, and I will get the email with the reset uh, URL. And I, I can basically 
set my new password all right if i go back to login and click on new user i can uh, register my new user here with the let's define here a new user type here like peter peter then peter at gmail.com password is one two three four five six and i choose here my image let's select uh, this one click on open you will see here the preview of the image if i click on register i am registered successfully now i am logged in with the name peter and this is my account i can display my orders my profile this is my profile picture i can edit the details like type here like mr mr peter if i click on update you will see that i have updated my name here so this is my full name this is my email i can also update my email also and also the profile picture i have joined on this date i can view my orders right i can also like change my password here right so all the options are here i can also display my orders that i have placed and if i click go to cart and click on this checkout i have to provide you can see that there are three steps first of all the shipping info then the confirm order and then the payment all right i have to provide here shipping info i have already here the address city phone number postal code and that's drop down list contains all the countries in this world all right now i have also saved this data in the local storage so that you don't have to type its shipping info again and again okay if i click on continue now i am on my step two which is the confirm order so my name is this phone number address then my card items so i have two this one which is 598 dollars one is this one which is 126 dollars and this is the subtotal and the shipping is zero if the total amount is less than 200 dollars then the shipping will be 25 dollars now it is 724 dollars so now it will be zero and the tax is 36.25 dollars and total is 760 761.24 that user has to pay to purchase these products okay so now if i click on proceed to payment i have to provide here the card info you can see i am on my last step i have to provide here the card info the card number expiry date and cvc if i put here any invalid card number like this you will see here it is turned to red all right now to test it the stripe has provided us with the uh, card numbers that i can use to test the payment all right so i have used stripe to process my payment in this course so copy this card number this is authentication required so copy this card number this is actually visa card number so i copy it put that card number here now you can see that it is not red let's provide here the expiry date first of all the month i type here 12 and let's put in here the 30 for the year and the cvc we have to provide the three numbers so i write here 555 okay now you can see that in the button i also have 761 dollars 0.25 that i have to pay so pay 761.24 dollars if I click on this pay button now you can see that it has displayed here that this is a test payment of 761 us dollars now definitely we are testing this payment if you want to receive actual payments then it will display something else like whatever they want to ask okay so i complete authentication here so your order has been placed successfully if i go to my orders you will see here i have here one order this is the order id number of item is two amount that i have paid is this one and status is processing if i click on view i can view all the details so i have paid the amount this is the processing details and all the items that i have ordered all right and then this is the normal user which is shopping on our website and in fact if i go back to my stripe account this is my stripe account if i reload it now it is 1243 dollars total balance and now it is um actually we go to payments and we can see that so 761 dollars that i have received from here if i click on it so that is this payment 761 dollars stripe and succeeded whatever we have here so mr peter okay so card holder name is mr peter that has paid it all right now if i go to home so now i have nine nineteen hundred and seventy four total balance all right 
so now we have uh, received our payment also now this is the normal user account we also have an admin account if i log out from here i have already created my account of admin if i log in so we have glam at gmail.com and password is g-h-u-l-a-m-1 this is the admin account if i click on login now you can see one more option here that is called dashboard if i click on dashboard now this is a dashboard of the admins and only admins can see it okay so total amount of is $1817 i have only three orders nine products three users and two products are out of stock if we go to products you will see that i have all these products that has price this stock is this i can add them like this change the images whatever i want to change okay and i can also delete any product if i want to right i can also go to the orders i have these three orders you can see that this is one that i have just received this is in processing okay for example if i want to deliver it so you can see that here the payment is paid stripe id is this product status is this these are the items i simply can change the status from the processing let's change it to delivered so update status successfully updated go to orders and now it is delivered successfully all right you can also delete any order like i delete this one so delete and now it is gone all right and then we have the products i can create a new product here all right now now products are multiple images if i go to my shop at home page i go to the second page i click this product and this has a slider that display all the images you can see that it has three images so you can upload multiple images if you want so this is the slider and it will work automatically and these images are actually uploaded on a third party website if i open image in new tab you will see that it is actually uploaded on cloudnary so cloudnary.com shop it which is our project name and then we have uploaded it on the cloudnary server cloudnary is a very popular server to upload our images and videos all right so i have used this to upload my images and, and then we will use that okay so this is what i have done here right and now we also have here users now you can see that mr peter we have registered in this video so mr peter peter at gmail.com the role is a user this is the admin and this is a user if i click on edit from here i can change its role from user to admin like this update and now we have here admin now this user is admin all right and we've also delete the user and the reviews if i want to get review of product for example if i give product to this review so submit review you can give here stars let's give it five stars i type here sweet sweet apples and type here fresh and healthy just whatever you want to type okay and let's submit this review with the five stars you can also update it like this one or this one whatever you have so submit review posted successfully if i go here you can see that my review is here so by Bas, sweet apples and fresh and healthy i can copy this product id from here copy if i put that right here i can see the uh, review of that particular product here so this is the review id rating comment which is this one the user is this and i can also delete this review if i want right let's have to delete it if i delete it go back and reload the page now you will see that i don't have here the review okay now give here again like a type here sweet if i click on submit now i have given the five stars let's give it actually four star if i want so i update it to submit and now it is four star with the same user all right so now we have here products now if i log out from here log out let's log back in with this peter account so login that was peter at gmail.com so password is one two three four five six login and now you will see that peter has also option of dashboard peter can also now view it whatever he wants now you can see that the amount is also decreased because now we have, we have already deleted the previous order from here all right that's why it is decreased to this one all right and now if i go to orders so now this is the order that we have made so now it is delivered so the status is delivered you can also view that from here all right and you will see you can submit you can also submit the review on the same product like if i go to 
this one it already has review here if i submit my review of peter one so five stars put in here healthy and fresh okay so submit so now it has two reviews we can see there are two reviews and this is the overall rating you can see the star is filled here and now i have two reviews here so healthy and fresh by mr peter and this is by Gulano Boss. all right and we have all the other options also okay so this is the project that we're going to build in this course this is quite a long course i think so it is uh, 20 hours of course and we have covered each and everything from very very scratch we will start from an empty folder and we will deploy this application to heroku okay so you can see that we also have your custom titles so admin dashboard so this is the best home page if i click on this product you will see that now it has this uh, this title okay so title also changes according to the page so go to cart i will see here your cart you can also actually delete this if i delete this one you will see here now it has the total this one and one more thing that let's go to our dashboard users let's make it user so go here and click on user update so now the peter is now user again if i log out and log in again with the peter account now he cannot access the dashboard so peter that is password is one two three if i enter here wrong password like i type here one two three four five six seven and peter I click on login you will see our invalid email or password right now i click on login now peter cannot go to dashboard all right if we go to dashboard like slash dashboard click on enter it is redirected back to the home page the dashboard and all other routes related to the admin cannot be accessed by the normal user all right so this is the project that we're going to build in this course i hope that you will enjoy that I will highly recommend you to complete watch the course content of this course. If you really want to learn how to build a powerful e-commerce website like this, you can definitely take this course. And I will see you in the next section in which we will start setting up our coding environment.